Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm doing my final piece in my fragmented series. Um, that If you haven't watched them, I'll link up the videos in the description box of the past three pieces. Um, so I'm just doing four in this series. Um, but what I do is I just basically lay out some paint, use some cell activator, kind of swipe through, creating some lines, half lines, partial lines. That's why I call it fragmented. Um, and then I'll put it on the spinner and spin it out and see what we get out of this. So really excited because I got some, I'm very simplistic. I'm not using a lot of colors for this. So um, I'm thinking um, this is going to really turn out pretty cool. It's going to give um, kind of like a fanned out look. That's the goal in mind anyways. Let's get down to camp so I'll get started. <laughs> All right, be right back. All right, everyone. So I am doing my final piece in what I was calling my fragmented series. Um, what I want to do is uh, kind of just lay out a few colors. I'm using a very few colors. I'm only going to use one, two, three, four, plus a cell activator. Um, but what I want to do is just lay out my pillow paint. I'm going to lay out a strip of the four colors and then do some swiping through it, creating some abstract lines, some scoops and drags, and then we'll spin this bad boy out. I'll tell you the colors as I go. So what I'm gonna put out is my Multi-Pro PPG. So let's put out this. first color I'm going to put out is my Creative Inspirations in Payne's Gray. All right, my next color is going to be Amsterdam in Pearl White. And my last color is going to be Deep Gold. What I want to do is give it some black cell activator. I'm going to kind of just kind of go through it, but also get through the, the some of the white.
My goal is to keep negative space. So we'll see how that goes with the spin, but I wanna keep the surface the composition, everything here in the center. So when I do stretch it and move it, it will spread out nice and evenly. And what I can do is take little areas, just kind of pick them all up and move it out like that. It's playing with paint. There is no right, wrong way. You make the composition how you like. Now what I'm doing is I'm just giving it some fragmented lines, direction, moving the things around so it's got some legs when it spins. I'm also looking to see where I've got some block of color that's just solid where I can do some scooping and dragging, moving around. All right, I think I fiddled enough. Let's give it a little spin. This is so cool. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. I love this. Now I only have to check and see if I have too much paint on the canvas. Yeah, I got a little bit too much. Shoot. I really like this composition. I don't want to lose too much of it. All right, 
I'm going to leave it there, take my chances. Oh, I love everything about this though. This is really, really nice. I think I'm gonna be able to leave it there. I think it's gonna be okay to dry. The scooping and the dragging really, really gives it some great definition. The way the cell stretched out, really nice. I like this little black and white section. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys down. All right, here we are with the wet result. I'm loving the composition. These cells, the way they spun out, really great. Got some great lines. Just start you over here. Alexa, studio lights on. I'm gonna apologize for the glare. All right, we'll see this when it's dry. All right, everyone, here we are with the dried result. I'm loving this. It's almost kind of like a mermaid's tail or something. I love the composition of this piece. everyone that is it so this turned out better than I could have expected I had the idea of what I wanted to do um, but after spinning it out it just really came out wonderful I love this orientation for it so this will get uh, resin for sure well I don't know maybe I'll put some gloss varnish on it because I really don't want the white to turn yellow from the resin so we'll see I haven't decided but in any case look at how it kind of just moves upward it reminds me of a fish tail, a mermaid's tail, or like a betta fish. I really, really love this a lot though. It's so, so beautiful. So I guess you could put it in any direction that you want. But yeah, really dried, amazing. I love the outcome on it. So I will get, I don't know. I think I'm thinking gloss varnish. Yeah, I don't want the white to yellow from the resin over time. So. All right, everyone, that you just went through my entire thought process. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, everyone, I'll see you on Wednesday. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.